Okay, so let's start with the front end part in the React. Uh, this one line that you need to do is that first of all, you need to install the Node.js in your PC. After this done, the one thing that you need to do is that uh, npx uh, create React app and the name of the app that you want to install. So let's say we want the name as movie data. And in the movie data, if you enter this command, then uh, it will do a bunch of processing and will just create you this file structure. Okay, so that thing takes a lot of time. That's why I've already installed that. The only thing that we need is to run this. So npm start and this thing will activate itself. So till then, what we are doing is that we are just exploring what it is. So this was new to me. I learned it while doing this. So yeah. So just I'll explain you how this thing works. Okay. So as we know that React is a single page application. So there is an index or HTML which is loaded when the site is being loaded. So in this, there is a something which is a division. Okay, so like a div tag and it, it, it is a component. So just a minute till this thing is loaded. So this is the idea of root. And if you see in the index.js, you can see that this component is being rendered by app component. And the app component, there is app.js. And in the app.js, you have certain things over here. And this is what is rendered in the HTML page of index. Okay, so if this is like the uh, home page of react so if we are going to change let's say on anything let's say uh, if you are if you are changing this edit to uh, let's say react and we are just saving this change then you can see that in the edit is changed to react so this, this is how it works this is like the app.js and we will be making some changes here but the thing is that remember the workflow okay the index.html is being rendered in index.js. Index.js has uh, the component of app app component and app component as app.js. In app.js, we will write various components that will be needed. Okay, so initially we don't need any of this. So I'm just deleting the inside part. Okay, and I'm what I'm just writing for now currently is uh, just a heading tag of movie data. Let's just write. Uh, movie rater h1 okay. and you can see that we have got our home page ready okay in this video i don't know how much it is okay in this video what we will be trying to do is that uh not we will not render our api but just statically we will just write here the names of various movies okay and there is all there is also a project that i have already built so i'll use this as a reference because it might happen at that some errors may be there or I don't know. I'm also new to it. That's why. Okay. So uh, to create a list of movies statically, we will make a component. Okay. So I'm just naming it as a new folder. I'm naming it as a components and in the components, let's just create a new file and name it as movie list dot JS. Again, the movie list or JS, if you are using, uh, if you are using visual studio code, there is a shortcut of like importing the react as well as if you want to make some class, you can have it. I am naming this class as a uh, movie list. Okay. In the movie list. Now, what is the state? The state defines the local space where you can, uh, you know, declare your variables and something and you can use this in the return render method. Okay. So I'll not uh, take you deep in the syntax and all that stuff all i need is to make this thing running and working okay so in the state let's say i'm defining a list or not list uh, array or something in which there is something there are movies okay so my favorite one till now is 300 okay yes yeah. so, and then we have avatar and last one is it's an indian movie three days okay so these are three movies which i like the most and let's see that if i want to render it in this okay so like how this thing works i'll just explain you so in the return if i just uh, write an h2 tag okay in the h2 tag if i write that uh, this is a movie list okay if, if this is like a whole separate component but in the app.js i can import this so you can just write that import uh, movie list from uh components and uh, you have the name so movie list and in this after movie rating if you want to import certain components you can just write movie list and like this if you save this thing 
you can see that the whole component of movie list is being rendered over here if you like copy this various times uh, it will like just a minute okay so it will be rendered two times so this is like this is movie list and this is also movie list okay so this is how it works so in the movie list now we have access of our child component that is this js if we can change this somehow that is we don't want a static we want to render this movie which has the entries of 300 avatar and idiots uh, three idiots so how can we do that one is that uh, you have to just enclose everything in the curly braces and you can write that this dot state dot movie so i have the access to this movie using this dot state dot movie i have to map this okay so if i'm using x arrow function and if i'm just writing i'm not okay i, I was thinking of console but uh h2 h2 and if i'm specifically writing x i know it, it will not work okay just a minute uh unexpected keyword this okay 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 don't worry uh we have to write this i don't know let's just enclose it in some tags if you are enclosing in a h2 okay okay now this thing works now if we go like we have x three times okay if we are going to change this to something let's say if there is a new movie let's see that yesterday i saw extraction okay i'm saving this you get four movies that means i'm able to um, like iterate through everything but i'm printing x why because to print the value of what is stored in it we have to just enclose it with a like a single with the curly brackets and now we can see the names are being rendered so this is how you can render a static list i must say now when we will move ahead we will just not make it static but we will do something in which this thing gets loaded from our api from api means that in the postman using this url if i am getting something then we will get a list of movies and i want to render that okay so it's just loading it just a minute okay so i'm sending this uh, i'm sending this url and i'm sending a get request and i'll get certain data i want that data to be displayed see i'm getting extraction and there is only one movie i think okay i'll insert one more movie i'll just make it like a post i'll send this movie of avatar okay and if i'm mm, okay 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 just a minute okay 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 i i know like uh whether our api is stopped working oh sorry 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 uh we need to insert a slash i think that's the error that we are getting okay so we have our avatar inserted so when i'm getting this request back if i'm sending it i can see that now i have extraction i have avatar i have this two movies in hand right now so okay so this is how it's going to work so that's it for this video so in the next video we will try to load this list dynamically from our url uh, from our url okay that's it bye